one of the best vehicles ever invented. Yes, indeed, you guys. And you know it's a Toyota. A good old Forerunner, man. Remember when you can get one of these bad boys brand new for 30000 34, 35, 38,000. Now, Toyota got these bad boys marked up at 54, 52, 50. Yeah, back in there, you can get these for 30 some thousand, man. Brand new. When times was good, man. But hey, man, shout out to Lil Kenny TV. Originally, be in the description box down below. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best. It's going on now, you beautiful people's life. We got another live video we're going to be checking out. We're going to have some fun with. It's titled 2024 Toyota 4 Runner. 4,000 off MSRP, but are still stacked on the lot. And we checked out in his last video. Man. Boy, boy, boy. Lot ride. Lot ride. Yeah. You gonna pull off on one of these bad boys and get a check engine light, uh, a gasket leak, a, a a a suspension failure, something. They've been sitting up for a while. Shoo. <laughs> man, oh man. But again, um, me born and raised in a Toyota family, um, we've actually owned many. Toyotas and we've owned we own two four forerunners and um one of our forerunners made it to three hundred thousand miles two thousand six same motor same transmission man these vehicle are tanks it was paid off you know rest in peace to my dad man he died on the way to work in that vehicle two thousand six Toyota 4Runner, baby. Rest in peace to Papa, man. One hell of a vehicle right here in front of us. So let's check these video, these uh, these trucks out, man. And again, comment down below. Would you buy buy one of these? We see in the comments everybody saying hell no, too overpriced. Some people saying they still would. Again, amazing vehicles. And if you own one, I know you love it. We've seen some people have steals. In the market, in the private market, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. I've showed you guys steals. Even after, like people that have done a lot of aftermarket uh, modifications to these vehicles from the tires, the interior, the exterior, steals. There are steals in the, in the private market with these vehicles, you know? So, hey, you might got, need to go find you a good deal. Outside of a dealership, <laughs> they're out there. There's a, tons of these vehicles out there, you guys. But hey, let's check it out. And again, shout out to Lil Kenny, baby. Yes, sir. The originally being in the description box is down below. Let's crank it. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and hit the notify button where we're always dropping new Toyota Tacoma <laughs> content or a forerunner or two. So yeah, guys, we're just gonna jump into it. So this is like the closest thing we got to a Tacoma, right? I mean, unless you wanna, unless you wanna say the Tundra, but no, I think this is the closest thing because this is a 4.0, this is a V6. It's the last naturally aspirated V6. Naturally this truck aspirated. is still made in Japan. <clears throat> and let's see what y'all know how we feel about our japan we know how we feel about our japan only the real ones know man only the real ones know about that japan <laughs> prices on this one so this is fifty one thousand. so this is going to be the off-road premium but like i said it's still made in japan as you guys can clearly see right there and it looks like they got a power sliding moon roof that ran you 630 dollars and then they got the kinetic dynamic suspension in this so they got the kds suspension on this one this is a nice one and this is going to be in that ice cap but they got a ton of these they got a ton of these so just right over here is an off-road premium and we'll go over here so this lot right here they got a lot of cars on the lot they got cars trucks they got everything except a 2024 tacoma but we won't we won't go there we won't go there let's see let's see what the discounts is looking like over here so we got a Almost a four thousand dollar discount. So this is down to forty eight thousand mm. dollars, and it retail for fifty one thousand, almost fifty two thousand. 
YouTube. All right. It's still made in Japan. Hell, after all the fees and taxes, like you're looking at like 50, 50, I like the wheels 55, the 56. Right they don't got like the old school, the old school, as I'm stuttering, they don't have the old school TRD Pro 4Runner wheels. But I've been looking at most of these 4Runners over here and for whatever reason, they don't have those ones on this one, but they got a ton of them. So let's go see the rest of them. They kind of got them spread out here because they got so many cars on the lot. They got a lot of these high Highlanders and Grand Highlanders. The Grand Highlander looking like a Mazda over there. But yeah, let's just jump mm. into the rest of these over here. So let's look at this one. This nautical blue. Now this has a camera right here, honey. Can you see the camera right here? On the this is an off-road, I'm pretty sure. It's an off-road here, but see how the camera is a little bit lower on that limited. So you got the off-road and then you got the limited. And this underground, this is Toyota's really uh, you know, putting out a lot of these these trucks in this color and underground on the new Tacomas and the 2024 Tacomas and on the Forerunners. Wow, so this is gonna be forty nine thousand dollars after a three thousand dollar discount. So this thing almost was fifty three thousand dollars. All right. So let's see if we can find any other discounts. So here's a nice little SR5, a little SR5 premium with that Yakima ba uh, basket on top. So let's look at so the price. Let's that price. Look like that is a five. Okay. Forty six. So we got about a thirty two hundred dollar discount. <coughs> this one's going to be forty six hundred dollars, and it retail for fifty, fifty thousand dollars. It's pretty cold out here, you guys. We out here at Wilsonville Toyota. So if you are looking for a Forerunner, make sure you holler at these guys and tell them Little Kenny sent you. So yeah, here's a little sky. I think here's that classic silver. Sometimes it looks really, really cool, and sometimes it just looks all right. Today it just looks all right for whatever reason. And we only <laughs> have a three thousand dollar discount. And I'm gonna slow it down for a little bit for you guys because I know I am kind of moving kind of fast. Forty six thousand dollars, and this is that classic silver. And again, these are still made in Japan for the time being. And these are the last of the naturally aspirated V6s. They will be going down to a turbocharged four cylinder here soon. So yeah, they got a ton of these trucks on the lot. They got a ton of Tundras too. So they are- Light uh, rod. Here's a little shot from the back. I really do like this underground color. Like I said, here's an off-road one and they want $52,000. I am very interested in seeing what the new 4Runner is gonna look like. I know a lot of people, not a lot, but some people have seen it and they really do like it a lot. They got a couple more down here. I wanna take you down here and see one. But yeah, this lot is just full. A lot full, man. Of trucks and cars. But no 2024 I don't know, I don't know what they would do with the 2024. I don't know what they'll put them. There wouldn't be no space. They got a lot of Camrys. So it is kind of cool <laughs> about all the Camrys they got. More Forerunners, though. So they're just everywhere. They got these Forerunners kind of spread out because they have so many of them. So here's one with a camera right here. This is a nice black, another off-road with those Predator steps. Yeah, the 4Runners are really, really nice. The only bad thing is just the gas mileage. People don't really like the gas mileage. Yeah. But what are you going to do? This is a bulletproof transmission and engine. And I'm telling y'all, man, you could put a million miles on this transmission and motor. Without a doubt, bulletproof. This one's gonna run you for fifty-two thousand dollars. Fifty-two thousand dollars, and you get a console safe in this one. So this is gonna do it, guys. But yeah, they got a ton of these on the lot, and they are discounting them, so that is good. But you might want to grab one of these before mm. you know before they're all gone, basically just like the Tacoma. So this is probably gonna be a good- oh, Y'all can wait to the end of the year, huh? <laughs>
It's gone away to the end of the year. Time for you to grab one of these. I really like this one right here. Now this is, what are we working with here? This is an off-road. I just really like that underground color. I think it's, it looks really, really nice. One of these trucks will look really nice with some nice, the nice set of wheels and tires. So we got 46, one, 46 for this one, almost 47 for the TRD off-road. And you're gonna get the premium um, eight inch touchscreen and you're gonna get navigation with the eight speaker, Apple CarPlay, all right? And you're gonna get the keep it well savings. And this is the roof rack you're gonna get with this one. You're gonna get the blind spot indicators and you're not gonna get the integrated turn signals on this one for whatever reason. Here's a black one right here, a really, really nice black one. Sorry guys, my camera's just been really acting up. It just acts, it acts up on these low light days, on these overcast days for whatever reason, but this black one is a good looking truck. So yeah, this might be an option for you, like I was saying kind of early in the video. If you were looking for a Tacoma, this is, you know, a little bit more room. The only thing is you're not gonna get a bed. So if you need a bed, you know, for your truck, a truck bed, you're obviously not gonna get that, but you do get a lot more cargo space with these forerunners. And if you don't, if you don't wanna do the forerunner, you got plenty of tundra. So they got a ton of tundras out here as well. So here's one of the forerunners right here that has those wheels on it that I really, really like. Let's look at this one. Now this is a SR5 premium let's see how much this one's going to be because i really like the wheels now these are the trd pro forerunner wheels i really like this one right here and this one <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this one was fifty thousand dollars guys fifty thousand dollars so they wanted almost fifty almost fifty one thousand fifty one thousand fifty thousand fifty one thousand now that's a good looking truck that is a really really good looking truck So you got two of them right here, two off-roads here in that underground color. So yeah, a ton of forerunners, but that's gonna do it guys. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure I show some love, man. Y'all check out Lil' Kenny, man. The buyers lost their taste for Toyotas due to greedy dealership marking up six to ten thousand someone says two weeks ago i bought a used 2019 forerunner limited nightshade package with thirty nine thousand miles so 39.6 so almost almost 40 40 000 miles for just under thirty nine thousand. i feel like i got a bargain compared to what has been going on since then. SUV prices are out of control. Man. It's not too bad of a deal. I would have, I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's like a, a, let me see. Somebody says that's a decent, I'm sure it's a decent deal. However, I would rather fork out a few more thousand for a brand new, 2024 forerunner to each their own however great choice still yeah it's just if i'm spending that kind of money forty i i'm gonna get a brand new forerunner that's just me personally though you know i wouldn't go with no but the 2019 i mean it's a, it's a good It's a great purchase, but if I'm still spending over forty thousand dollars, I'm I'm gonna get the brand new one. It's like buying a motorcycle. The motorcycle market is ridiculous. A used bike be the same price as a new bike, so that's why most people just go buy a new bike, or they just go to, to the Facebook marketplace and buy the bike privately. Because the dealership is going to sell that same bike, even with 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 miles. And 10,000 miles is high for a motorcycle. 
they're gonna sell that at damn near the the sell the, the price the person bought it for. Maybe a cut a couple hundred or a thousand or two off. So what does the, the, the consumer do? They go buy a brand new motorcycle. That's just how I think about it, but anyway, either way you put it, forerunners are just amazing vehicles. They're workhorses. Um this this vehicle is bulletproof, one of the best vehicles ever made. So again, we're just gonna stay updated. We'll see how this thing do. And again, I'm gonna try to get some uh videos down here in Texas at the local dealerships as well for you guys down here in Houston. But hey, I love you guys. And comment down below what you think. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.